All right, here we are. Dying AC. It's not working. The indoor fans work. I don't know what the hell happened there. Dying AC is not working. Let's see. Probably a high pressure thing. It's only 102 out. How many flashes? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four is high pressure. Three is high pressure. Well, there's stage, stage one. This sounds terrible. This one's working. Shut this down. This might just be a fan blade. Look at that. That fan blade got chopped off somehow. On the other side, the other side down here, that's what it was, it's bent. It is bent. What did it, oh, oh, even better. The bracket over there is uh, broken off. Oh, there's the fan blade down there. Hi. That one's loose too. that loose I think that's just the way it is That's hot. All right, that's not coming off. Oh man, everything is jacked up. All right, ordering parts. I think that's it for now. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna unplug it. All right, it's unplugged. So anyways, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna unplug it so this doesn't run and continue to break. Put some water on it, get the parts ordered. All right, we're back with this lovely unit. Grab the parts for it. The best they had was a fan blade and a bracket locally. Everything else has to be ordered. I got a new washer for this. It's not, not excited about it, but it should hold. I had water on it, worked great for them yesterday. Um, but now there's a swimming pool up here. All right, back to this unit. Uh, I should have sprayed it. I get distracted. We got the fan blade, bracket, tools. I wish they had a smaller one of these. Let that sit for a minute. Between the heat and the PB blaster, it should should pop right off. 
Because that thing's on there pretty good. There we go. There's the fan blade. A little bit of penetrating oil on the shaft. Work the shaft back and forth and got it off. Next step, we got 516 screw down here. And that's to get the rest of this bracket off. And we'll have to loosen up the motor just to get that off. drop that down into the abyss and I still got to get that fan blade out all right I need two hands again new washer bolts back in that's back in I need to tighten that down now all right that's tight now all right now for Actually, before the fan blade, I need to pull that piece out. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. All right, it's out already. I used the hose, hooked it on, pulled it up. And out it came. Now for this fancy fan blade they gave me. I don't know if that should. It definitely is gonna show up. There's like some bends in it. I was a little worried because the box was messed up. The fan blade doesn't look that bad, but there's these little tiny creases on all three of the fan blades, so I figured it's a factory thing. Let's see. Okay, this fan blade's back on. Lifted the motor up a little bit. And I've got the fan blade right at the tip. But still, like the clearance, especially over here, the motor definitely has a shaft problem, but there's not one local. I don't know, that's sketchy. I did notice on this other fan blade that it's not the same. So this one got changed out, but it's got little sure but we can't see it fan blades been getting scratched up around the edges i don't know that's really sketch that's just way too close fire it up and find out i guess i spun it to see if it hit nothing hit so once it fires up i'm just gonna shut it down real quick huh. i didn't hear it hit I'm gonna shut the power off and put this back on get a fan motor ordered up just so i can do this all over again I think that's gonna be it for this one. They got a light bulb ballast they want me to replace. I'll go do that, at least that's in the air conditioning. 